welcome to the third part in our ongoing video series. Now last time we got together, we talked about the three keys to successful financial management. The first was controlling your income to reduce your debt and increase your assets. Secondly was planning now for a better future retirement. And third was protecting yourself against life's against life's uncertainties, risks, catastrophes, uh, and the like. Now one of the ways that you can help yourself in uh, this regard is by utilizing the uh, uh, questionnaire that you can access uh, off the link on our website uh, here to uh, help begin that planning process. A fundamental basic of personal economic health is really quite simple. Spend less money than you earn. Easy, right? In theory, yes. In practice, not so easy. Why? Again, because of the need for self-discipline. Also, the, uh, the balance of uh, needs versus wants. Uh, there's an inherent cost in the needs we have uh, in life. Whether that be food, shelter, clothing, children, transportation, unforeseen emergencies, whatever it may be, those are needs that uh, have real uh, attached legitimate costs. But then there are the costs of wants. We all uh, would like to enjoy a nice vacation. We may want a, a new car. We may want to eat out more, whatever that may be. Those, uh, those wants can easily pile debt on top of debt. This, in turn, can impede your ability to grow your wealth and enjoy the happiness that comes from being in a position to help others. There's a centuries-old axiom that uh, says there's more happiness in giving than receiving. And being able to prudently manage your financial resources puts you in a position to enjoy the happiness that comes from being able to care not only for yourself, but to help others as well. At the end of the month, is there more uh, month than money left over for you? Well, you're not alone. Many people struggle with that. And so we like to work with folks and help them invert that and have more money left over for you than month. So that goes back to that inherent correlation between income and expenses and adequately managing that margin. You might liken it to driving a car without a steering wheel. It doesn't really matter how fast, how quickly, or how slowly you're going. There's still difficulty because you don't have that total control with the steering wheel and that's really the same way it goes for money whether we have uh, make a lot or a little we still have to be able to manage it effectively to take the car analogy a step further imagine you're in a you know nice new vehicle with good tires but you take a curve a little too quickly too much power on the accelerator what happens uh, it's very easy to lose control at that point. And the same goes for your financial situation. Even if you're making a lot of money, i.e. have a lot of power with the, the car, without managing it well, it's easy to lose control. So I'll ask a question at this point. Who has more money? The person that earns $100,000 a year or the person that earns $30,000 a year? The obvious answer would be the person that earns $100,000 but not so fast. If someone earns $100,000 a year but spends $120,000, the person who makes $30,000 a year but only spends $20,000, they're actually $30,000 ahead of that person that makes more than three times what they do. Why? Because they've controlled their expenses. They've managed their money more effectively. Often, folks who make far less money than others tend to save the most. Why? Because they simply control their expenses more efficiently. So again, we refer you to the link on our website uh, to fill out that questionnaire and let us assist you in this process. We encourage all of you to not sacrifice your financial futures and the comfort that you can have therein for uh, short-term interests. Again, thank you for joining us and invite you back for the fourth in our video series.